How are y'all? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you, Vic. What's up, dude? So, what was it like getting out there? You know, you know, with new personnel up front with you. You know, just to fill up first day of camp. Uh, I think you, you know, a lot of guys at Echo that we felt like baby deer out there. Well, a few of us at least. Uh, kind of getting our feet back underneath us. Even with it just being a short break, five weeks, it, football is one of those things that if you get out of a routine, it is remarkable how much you have to pick back up and not so much reteach yourself, but reacclimate yourself with. So um, it was a great first day. They really took care of us, <laughs> kind of easing us in, and uh, still got some work done and a lot of things to improve on. So it's exciting, yet uh, we, got, we got some work to do. Sean said there's two kinds of players at camp, the guys getting ready for the season and the guys just trying to make it through the day. You must see that too. While you're still trying to get your own work done, how do you kind of balance? Obviously, they're going to look to you to help them with some stuff. How do you balance that? Uh, I feel like me personally, if you look at yourself as a guy who's not fighting every day to establish themselves as the person uh, you know, it's a what have you done for me lately business. And uh, I mean, there are some guys who feel like, and I'm sure Sean might use this, feel like they have, you know, deeper roots here. It's going to be harder to get out. Um, I think for all of us, taking it one day at a time, being forthcoming with information for younger guys and just kind of transparent and um, with each other and as, as well as between coaches and players. Uh, not so much on where they stand, rather in regards to just how to get better every day and uh, ride the ebbs and flows, which is training camp. Mitch, what are those first few weeks like of, of training camp where you guys are just rotating through so many people on the offensive line and you yourself are, are a part of, you know, one of the anchors in there for a lot of that? Uh, I think it's just, you know, in season, you want to have a definitive answer to a lot of stuff, right? But the fluidity of it through training camp is just kind of understanding that guys are going to get different looks, not only to see where they best fit, but also just get uh, some reps there so that when they're thrown in preseason or whatnot, that it's not kind of a you know, foreign entity to them. They can just kind of go in there and do their thing. So understanding who's next to you. Um, and then also it's just time on task. I think that's a great thing because as much as – you know, training camp sucks, to be honest. For a lot of it, there's some real benefit in time on task, repetition, getting your body calloused, and also just getting repetitions with different guys to understand that, uh, you know, if we do work with someone that we weren't expecting or if someone comes in, that it's just kind of a smooth sailing deal and that there's not this huge bump in the road. Yeah, I mean, I think around here, someone gets paid, um, you know, this is well-deserved. And I think as players, to be honest, is one of those things that I looked at and was like, okay, and then left. I, it was just one of those things I got in a, kind of in a course. Yeah, that makes sense. And then roll off with my day. It took about five seconds of my life to think about it. But I think that's a testament to the fact that that's not some big shock, right, that these guys have, uh, you know, are Buffalo, are bu the Buffalo Bills, and uh, – Talk about deep roots. These guys have them here, and uh, they deserve it. In other words, you got, you got shit to do. You know what? Uh, it was one of those things that I was just hanging out with my kiddos. I saw it, and we, we rolled. Now, a lot of talk on the outside about the competition at Rikar. How do you guys see that heating up over the next several weeks, and how have you seen those guys kind of vying that, for that position, work through it mentally and physically over the spring and the first day of camp? Yeah, I think it's it'll play itself out these next few weeks. Right now, I wouldn't put too much into who's playing where. Um, it's really just guys getting repetitions, right? Like trial by fire, especially for a young guy, is the greatest way to grow in this game. Even for vets, you know, competition breeds better football players. Uh, and so right now we're just trying to get guys in competitive environments so that they can – put their best foot forward so that when those opportunities present themselves to establish themselves as, you know, that's one of those starting fives that <laughs> it's kind of a clear and concise thing rather than some up for grabs deal that, you yeah, know, doesn't make sense to anyone. On the other side, uh, what do you see in Connor McGovern and what do you think about uh, the veterans of developing chemistry with him? 
Yeah, I think Connor is a very talented football player. You know, one that was brought in because not only can he physically do the job, but also he's very adaptable mentally, understanding that this is a very different scheme from him, from Dallas. He was very forthcoming with that, but he had, hasn't hindered him in his learning or his, uh, his uh, ability to make these kind of amendments to his game. He's been able to really kind of go with the flow. You know, we're all learning how to work with each other, but, you know, he has done such a good job of kind of taking what the coaches have said, compounding it, con condensing it to how it just resonates with his job and going from there. Well, I think um, communication is one of those things that uh, is always something that you can continue to grow on no matter how long you've been in the game with someone or been working with someone. I think when you also look at not so much the running the ball more, but people have, you know, they've been – this is a kind of a, t a talking point that I think is I heard someone say and it reigns true is that when we do run we have to make it count and we have to sprinkle it in and we have to be efficient with our runs to kind of correlate or complement our pass game. So, uh, and then when it's a passing down and we know the blitz is coming, pick it up and uh, kind of give Josh some time to not run for his life ever so often. Mitch, last year against the, the Rams, I think the five you had out there, you maybe only got about identifying those five, how important is it to try to do that as soon as possible so you can get as much work together as possible? It's a, it's a double-edged sword because you want to give guys opportunities to prove themselves as the top five. Uh, and you, but you also want to, once you establish that, get those guys working. I think that's why it's so important to, in training camp, plug and play different dudes at different positions. And uh, I think the job for you guys is to not read into that too much until – who's out there week one. Um, you know, guys getting reps in training camp or guys getting reps in preseason. There's a method to the madness. It's very calculated. And uh, we'll, we'll when, when, when those five are established, we'll make sure to get the work done. And it won't be the first time we've all worked together. So it's a good question. I don't know. I think that you, there's some of that in every team, right? You Tendencies, you know, it's such a big thing is breaking those tendencies and also adjusting your game plan and seeing what, you know, what's been working well for certain teams. When you play teams later in the season, you have kind of an understanding of their identity. That being said, I think we did a good job of – finding those tendency breakers and trying to stick with those at the same time could we have done some stuff differently yes i think in the offensive line room we could have just doubled down our technique and protected better at times as simple as that I don't, i'm not going to point any fingers except to our you know ourselves you mentioned communication is something you need to improve offensively with so many members of the offense being together for so long is that maybe a higher level of concern this year communication or are you mentioning that just as something that's a concern every year it's a concern every year good question i think it's something that evolves every year um you know whether it just be changes and little nuances in the offense or just kind of self-scouting not in the professional sense through the team but through yourselves and kind of mitigate or not mitigating but kind of working that between players and understanding like this is something that i can do to kind of abbreviate the time or to, uh, you know, trying to get something going. So it's an ever-evolving thing that you have to fix every year. There's your cue. Digs? Oh, yeah. Get out of here, Val. Thank you all. Yeah, you bet.